Ah yes, the experiment is almost ready. occurs when two objects of different temperatures are in contact with each other. In this case, the liquid and the air are very different temperatures. The heat from the hot chocolate is moving into the cooler air. But if the heat from the hot chocolate is going into the air, why doesn't the air feel any hotter than me? Excellent question, young scientist! Put your hands very close to the hot chocolate. Let me know how it feels. The air right above the cup feels warmer. That's the heat transfer! The reason the entire room doesn't feel warm is because there's only a little bit of chocolate in this cup, and there's a lot of air in the room. The heat transfer stops whenever the air and the hot chocolate are the same temperature. The hot chocolate won't turn to ice unless you leave it out in the snow. Then the heat transfer will start again until both the air and the hot chocolate are at the same temperature below freezing. That's what happens when you put popsicles in the freezer, isn't it? Precisely! Although probably enough of the heat has transferred now that the hot chocolate's a little cooler. Give this hot chocolate a try. It's a perfect temperature, not too hot, but also not too cold. Thanks for the hot chocolate. Not hot chocolate, science experiment! Now, that cup smells pretty good. I think I'm gonna go make my own science experiment with marshmallows! We have marshmallows? Wait for me! Marshmallows. 